Center. I told the state. Yeah. There you go. This is Good to see you. It's fight week. Step up, step up, just step up top, step up top, step up top. Tank, how was the how was the face off we just saw? What yeah, he, he got, he good, he good. Let him do that. Uh, why they ain't record you? Why they ain't record you? Get out of here, you just an opponent. Get out of here, you just an opponent, dummy. What were you telling him in the face off? What were you telling Roly in the face off right now? Uh, you know, this has quickly become the biggest fight this year, maybe the biggest fight in the last few years. Do you see the response to this? The media, the. What was hey, man, it's cool. It's good. Tang ain't talking to me. No, okay. He ain't doing much. How much is he going to pay for the mistakes he makes? You know, the technical mistakes he makes in there? And how much is he going to pay for those mistakes? He's going to pay. If you know me, I'm going to make him pay. Has part of you, you know, needed to, to you know, block out, not not give him the best chance by going in there trying to slug with him and, and keep it smart? Or is that... Man, I could do whatever. He just, it's time to show that he's not on my level. You know what I mean? Tank, you invited Robert Easter to come to the fight. Did he respond? Did he come in? <laughs> Hopefully. He, he said he wanted your outfit. He want, yeah, because my shit was too big. <laughs> yeah, he needed to go. So how do you block all this? When you step in the ring, you can't come in with emotion. You have to, how do you, at what point do you block everything that was said here today and just focus on the boxing? Uh, yes. Go in there and have fun. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that we fought now and not before because I had too much, like, I was too bad. Like, Lord, angry. But now it's like, I had to, you know what I mean? I had to learn that it's just it's part of the game. Have, have you visualized the knockout? Have you visualized the fight in your head yet? I, I, I visualized um, breaking him down. Breaking him down, like, you know, breaking him down. Even if I don't get the knock, I want to beat him from the first round to the 12. Or oh, make him quit on the school. I think his coach is going to make him like, stop saying he's like, hold on, that's how I think so. You know, Calvin. Do you want him to do a knockout fight for the last one? You say you've been maturing recently since that last fight. Do you think that's going to translate yeah. to the ring at all? No, I'm not. Since my last fight, just maturing as, 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 as a person as a coach. And as a boxer, you know, I'm, I, I've been. You know what I mean? Doing this for a little while, here, so I'm still learning. But you know what I mean? I think my my, my uh, cup will never be full. You know what I mean? So I feel as though like I'm getting better at it. So, you know, um, Cal Calvin told me something I never heard him say before. He says he wants you to break something. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna be there for me to break something. For sure. He's gonna be there. Is him talking all that fuel at all, or does it just walk over your shoulder? It has been. I mean, it makes me like. It made me want to like be up more, but like in a good way though, like show him that this ain't really what you want. And do you think all these lights are gonna make him melt when he um, goes in the box and see all those people? Because you're this is your fourth pay per view now. You're a veteran. I don't think I'm a veteran yet. But I'm, though, I'm, I'm getting comfortable in it. So I think probably. I'm not saying like I can, but you know.